How to Run Appium Scripts in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller, version 2.440.2. There's also a sample repository for this video. The link to that repository is down in the description. Let's go and take a look at that repository. Now, we're going to be running some Appium tests against a macOS controller. In fact, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing the calculator application on macOS. So by using Appium, we're able to do that quite simply. Let's go ahead and first take a look at our POM XML. And what we have is we're using JUnit to help write our tests. And we also are importing the Appium Java client. Now, what does that test look like? What we can see here is we have a Mac 2 calculator test. Now, if you're looking at this video and you've never heard of Appium before, I'm going to make the assumption that you actually have heard of Appium and you've gone through step-by-step -step to get Appium set up correctly on the target environment that you're going to be working on. There are a number of prerequisites that you have to do. Taking a look at the Appium documentation will help you get through those steps. One item that I will say is when you're running your tests, you want to make sure that you set a specific field. I'm going to show you what that field is right now. Let's go ahead and go into our Mac 2 calculator test. The field that I'm saying that you want to see is set show server logs to true. That will help you debug. And in fact, that's what helped me debug a lot of the problems that I was having on my target environment. So by setting this one field, set show server logs to true, I get full debug information of what's going on. And it showed me what I needed to do for the prerequisites that I'd forgotten to do. So again, if you're wanting to test this out, be sure to set this field. It will help you in debugging what's going on in case things aren't working as you expect. Now we are using JUnit to write our tests. So what I have here is in our before all, we're setting up our runner. Notice that we're pulling in a test URL environment variable from our system. We'll take a look at that again in just a moment. We set up an Appium client config. We set up our Mac 2 options. Notice here within our Mac 2 options, the bundle ID is set to com.apple.calculator. What that means is when this starts up, it's going to go and look for an app with com.apple.calculator. That's the default calculator on Mac OS. We also have to set a couple of fields that are required. We have to set platform name to Mac and set automation name to Mac 2. Once we get this information set up, we then set up our Mac 2 driver. Now we're going to be running two separate tests. The first test is we're going to verify the title of the application. In our case, we're expecting it to be calculator. In the second test, we're going to be verifying addition. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding 22 and 20 and we're going to check to see if the value in the display of the calculator is 42. Now, notice something that looks a little bit different here. You'll notice that we're doing two click, two click, and then we do add click. So think about what you're doing on the calculator. You're doing two, two, plus, two, zero. But then notice this last one. All of these were by name. But in this case, for the click for the equal sign, we had to do it by ID. If you do appium by dot name equals, where the word is equals instead of just the equal sign, then the test actually fails because it's thinking that it's some touch bar that's the equals instead of the actual equals key on the calculator itself. So by swapping out name for equals over to ID to the equal sign, everything works as expected, or we should expect it to work. And then finally, we're going to assert that the answer we're expecting is 42, and we're pulling the information from the main display. Now you might be asking yourself, okay, how do you know what the names like to and add or the equal sign for ID, how do you know what those are? What you'll find as a tool that comes along with Xcode is there is a program called Accessibility Inspector. Once you start up that application, then you can interact with it to find out what the values are that you can use for either name or ID. Now here's the key thing. I'm not connecting directly to the Mac OS target system directly from inside of Jenkins. Well, I am, but not really. That takes us back to our test URL. That's our environment variable here. In our Jenkins file, what you'll notice here is our agent that we're using for this job is actually a Linux-based agent. And then you'll also notice our test URL. This 192.168.1.25 is my target system that once the unit test starts up, it's going to connect using that test URL. So the job starts up on my controller. We're going to be delegating the work off to my Linux-based agent. And then from that Linux-based agent, it's actually going to connect over to my Mac target system. 
at 192.168.1.25 listening on port 4723. That's the default port for Appium. Then what we're doing is just a normal Maven test run, Maven clean test. And then finally, we're going to be capturing all the information using our JUnit step in our post always. So let's go ahead and go back over into our controller. Let's click on Appium and click on Build Now. Now, while this is running, I'm not capturing any of the information from that target system, that target Mac OS system. There is the ability within Appium to go ahead and capture screen videos of what's going on. I chose not to do that for this example. But if we go ahead and take a look at number one as it's running, we can see that our tests are running for our Mac 2 calculator test. Now that the job completed, let's go ahead and take a look at our test runs. We can see we had two runs, no failures, no errors. So everything's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the output from number one. If we take a look at our test results, we had no failures. In fact, if we go back in here, Mac 2, we can see that our Verify application title worked and also our Verify edition worked as well. So if you're wanting to test drive specific systems like a Mac OS system, or maybe an iPhone, or maybe an Android device, by using Appium and using the correct drivers, you can go through, test your applications, and drive it all from a simple Jenkins file. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.